I've been a uh, practicing physician now for almost 20 years in the, in the field of cardiovascular medicine, cardiac surgery. While we've had made a lot of significant advances in the field, cardiovascular disease still remains a leading cause of death in men and women in this country. It has no uh, boundaries, so to speak. So it can affect anyone at any time. We see changes, cardiovascular changes, even in young adults. There's lots of things you can do to promote cardiovascular health that are not expensive, don't necessarily take a lot of time or effort, and it, at the end of the day can be very enjoyable. I always find time to do something, whether it's taking the stairs at work, <laughs> Uh, or you know, going to the gym or walking when I get home, I find that is something to, that to me is very comforting and it gives me time to think about the day while I'm helping myself you know, from the cardiovascular perspective. I have been um, conscientious about seeing my physician, which I think is important um, because we certainly can't treat ourselves and sometimes we think we are, but it's, it's, we're not doing the right thing. But lastly, I, I am conscious about what I do, what I eat, what I drink, and, and it, again, it's not, it's, it's not that you have to eat fish you know, every day, but you, you need to, be, to think about what you are eating and drinking and putting in your body because it does definitely have a significant impact. So uh, again, I think this is not, as they say, rocket science. It, it doesn't, it's not something you have to agonize about all day long. It's simple things that you can add to your life on a daily basis that are going to promote cardiovascular health. And in the end, it's going to improve your quality of life and your life expectancy. So I certainly highly recommend it.